So I'm assuming that this was like a packaging malfunction. That's a bummer. It's too much. Too much. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hi, welcome. I hope you'll stay. So today I have my BoxyCharm to share with you guys. I know I skipped like one or two weeks of uploading. I'm very sorry to my little group of subscribers. Very, very sorry. But there are a lot of changes happening in my life currently and I am choosing not to freak out about it. Like no, God! No, God, please, no, 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 no! I haven't decided if those changes are good or bad yet, but we will find out. But anyways, I got my boxy charm in the mail and uh, just really wanted to get this video out for you guys. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so this is what the box looks like this month. It's a lot skinnier than the normal boxes. The theme for this month is all natural. All right, the first item in the box is by Elemis and it's their Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. It says, feed the skin with this versatile super green mask formulated with avocado and broccoli seed oils, rich in omega fatty acids to help support the skin's moisture barrier. And it has vitamin C, passion fruit acids to help brighten the face and sounds amazing. Normally I would try this out for you guys, but I am actually in a rush right now. I have to head somewhere really soon, actually. So I'm just gonna skip this for now. And then once I do try it out, I will update you guys in the description box below. But I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be a while because there are a lot of major changes happening right now. On to the next item. Oh, I guess they included like a coupon or something for Ulta, the Ulta skin bar. Never been there, but I mean, never been to the Alta skin bar. I've been to Alta. <laughs> Let's be real. Anyways, on to the next item. This is the Luxie Gaia three piece brush set. Ooh, I love Luxie brushes. This does look a little different from the normal Luxie brushes that we get. So, this is like a previous Luxie brush that I've gotten in a boxy charm and these are the brushes that we got this time and there's like more of like a wood finish to these and whereas this is like a glossy a glossier finish i don't mind this i i mean i prefer this but this looks nice too so this is the luxie 510 foundation brush the luxie 250 large eye blending brush and then the luxie 246 precision crease brush. I don't normally use these very often, um, except for like face masks and oh, I might be using these two together, so that's nice. But um, they feel very, very soft. So, so far so good. I love Luxie brushes, so I'm really glad that we got that in the box. So let's see what's hidden under here. Ooh, let's go for the palette. So this palette is by Butter London and it is their Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, so these are the colors. I like the, the names. There's Enchantress, Queen, Star, Diva, Temptress, and Femme Fatale. It's really, really pretty, this um, teal color. So as usual, I'm just going to try this out for you guys. I'm gonna point and you know the drill. Don't know why I explain. So I don't know where my camera cut off, but uh, I just went ahead and finished the eye look and added a little bit of foundation, blush, and highlight. So I did get to test these two brushes out. This brush I would not use as a crease brush like I did. It is a blending brush, so I would use it for that purpose. Um, this was just a little bit too big, even for my big eyes. So um, yeah, just use it for blending and it'll be great. And even for highlight, I feel be really good but overall the brushes were amazing really soft it was able to blend out the eyeshadows really nicely so yes love them now on to the eyeshadows 
these eyeshadows are actually pretty good this retails for 32 dollars i don't i don't know if i would actually personally buy this especially for 32 dollars. i don't know i should have probably used an eye primer with this because sometimes like while i was blending out it would just blend the eyeshadow away and i don't know if it's just because of my like really dry skin or if it's the eyeshadows but i need to test these out with an actual like eye primer and all that i just didn't get a chance to because i am in a hurry so i noticed it most with this eyeshadow right here unfortunately um when i would start blending it would kind of blend away and you know i would try to pack it on again and when i've tried to blend it out again it would be you know just like dust it off i'm assuming it's because of my dry skin i don't want to totally call it quits on this palette yet because it is really pretty i really like the colors um, I did end up using all the colors except for Queen, and that's actually a really pretty color though. Ooh, look at that. But all the other shades were really nice. Um, these metallic shades were really, really shiny and metallic on the lids, and I loved it. And this uh, chocolate brown is so beautiful. I loved this. And even though this kind of blended away, the color is so gorgeous. It kind of gave me like... Cleopatra vibes, you know, so it's actually really not bad. I am glad that we got this in the box, but I personally I don't know if I would actually Spend my hard-earned money on this. It was good. It wasn't the best. It wasn't horrible, but it was good So the next item is this gel liner by appeal and it is in the shade forest green I love green eyeliners I hate having to sharpen my eyeliners. Oh my gosh. Ugh. But let's give it a quick swatch. Ooh, it's very creamy though. Wow. I wish it was a roll up. I feel like they never give us roll ups though. Let's see. Yeah, I actually really like this. This is really creamy. I don't know um, if it's long lasting. It doesn't really say anything but typically gel liners do last a while but i really like this color the only thing is that i hate sharpening as i mentioned before <sighs> why why i wish it was like a law to make all lip liners and eyeliners roll-ups i just I don't like to sharpen especially if you were to travel you know then you gotta pack the, the sharpener and then it's just it's too much too much all right on to the last item in the box this is by alomar cosmetics and it is their desnude as desnude as lip gloss it's a lip gloss cool looked like a concealer or something huh all right oh my gosh oh <laughs> this is that has like a lot of product on it. I don't know what happened. I feel like the stopper is missing on mine. Usually there's like a like a stopper right here that kind of takes off the excess lip gloss and mine doesn't have it. So it is quite messy. Or is it is this how it's supposed to be? I don't know. It's like it's literally Can you see that? Oh. Okay. Oh no, it's getting everywhere. Ah. All right, let's give this a swatch. Oh yeah, that's very, very nude. This might be too light for me. I don't know. I can try it on by itself first. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Let me try it on with a lip liner because this like concealer lips i don't actually have like a dark brown lip liner which is crazy but this is the closest that i got i don't even know which brand this is but <sighs> that's not brown let me show you guys what this looks like look at do you see that like how much product is on there so I'm assuming that this was like a packaging malfunction, I think. That's a bummer. I really liked all the Alamad cosmetic um, stuff that BoxyCharm sent in the past. 
And this, I feel, would have been really good if there wasn't. I feel like there is a malfunction. Yeah. The lip gloss actually is really nice. It's just... The lip gloss is actually really nice. It's just the packaging. Let me know if you guys also had to deal with the same problem. I have might have just gotten a faulty one. I don't know, but this is such a good gloss. I would hate for you know, the packaging to ruin the lip gloss, you know what I mean? This actually reminds me a lot of the NYX Butter Glosses. Uh, I actually have one right here. This is the NYX Butter Gloss, and they're quite similar. And then there's also the Flower Beauty Lip Lacquers from the drugstore. This one, the texture is a bit different. I feel like the NYX Butter Gloss is a lot closer to the Alamar formulation but yeah they're pretty similar right in in formula at least and in the look that they give you if you really want an Alamar cosmetics lip gloss but can't afford it it is $15 it's not that expensive but you know it's more expensive than these two but yeah these are just some cheaper alternatives with this I would probably because of the whole gloopiness and the packaging. Um, I would probably just use a lip brush just to make it easier on myself. <laughs> but if you do have the same problem that I have with this uh, not having a stopper, then I would suggest using a lip brush. I am actually really starting to like this lip combo though. Kind of feel like, you know, my gloss is popping. All right, so those were all of the items in this month's box. I have to say it was a lot better than last month's box if you saw that video. I will link it down below so that you can watch it. I did like the items in this month's box. I haven't yet tried the face mask, but I do love face masks, so I'm excited for that. Um, everything was good. <laughs> um, the packaging on this, not my favorite because of the like the fact that there's no stopper but because there's no stopper like every time I close it there's more lip gloss that's trapped in between and just gloops out <sighs> I would probably give this box about a 4.5 out of 5 mainly because of this packaging so overall I did really like this box let me know what you guys got in this month's boxy charm did you love it did you hate it let me know down below other than that please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye